And here we are, 16,000 fans strong, Saitama Super Arena in the main arena configuration. The K's Festa 2 main event of the evening. In the red corner, Takeru. In the blue corner, from Thailand, Yoki Sada. Let's see, as they touch up, I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Gonna have a good fight, main event, two champions, right? Two super featherweight champions. Exactly. Great fight here. Two completely different styles. We've got Takeru, who is a former champ in the super bantamweight division, the featherweight division, currently super featherweight champion. So he's had three of the big belts in K1. Facing off here against Yoki Sada, who is a champion at Rajadam Stadium, which, if you know, is one of the two main stadiums in Thailand. Very, very competitive. Very high level. Let's see what happens. Stylistically, this is a this is a very interesting matchup here. We've got Takeru with the quick inside low kicks, which are going to add up. If Yuki Sada doesn't defend those, Yuki Sada more of a knee fighter. This would be very interesting then. So one thing that. Um, K1 rules, there's no clinching, right? That is going to play a big role in this match here. Yuki Sada is going to have to completely rely on his striking prowess here, which I'm sure is great. Ooh. But Takeru is used to this rule set, scores big knockouts under this rule set. This is his home, his home turf. Really exciting main event to put on here for Case Festa 2. Both fighters are sizing each other up, it seems like. But uh, Takeru is uh, yeah, throwing out these uh, low kicks, seeing what's going to happen. Mm. It's a bit cliche, but it's true. Thai fighters um, generally will start a little slower rhythm and pace, uh, which is not going to serve him very well, Yoki Sada here, to start slow. There's only three rounds, and Takeru is probably looking to get off to a bit of a faster pace. Ooh. Heavy middle kick. kick. Yeah, powerful middle kick. I saw Yoki Sada um, hit some mitts live before this fight, and he oh, wow. has some incredible power and a very strong core. And he's very experienced. So these inside low kicks um, probably aren't going to ruffle his feathers a ton, but he should start defending those because they will add up. Yeah, so Yoki Sada has over 100 fights. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Ooh, well over 100 fights. Over 100 wins. Um, apparently, a majority by his knees. Ooh, big heavy middle kick. Takeru is going to have to defend that thing with his leg by checking the kick. Or if he chooses to eat it on the arms, he's got to come back with punches just like that. Great sharp combination. Yuki Sada's feeling it. That's what he's got to do. And that inside low kick, he's sticking with it. That's another thing that's hard to do um, in the ring there, is find something that works and stick with it. And that just takes discipline. Ooh, dude, spinning back kick. Oh, that got, that got, <laughs> there you go. That got a reaction out of him. <laughs> I can't imagine anything scarier than when you decide to run you down. <laughs> All right, kind of relaxed first round. Uh, yeah, Dan got a little exciting, but um, mm. so both both fighters looking to perform really well for this main event. Yep, the case Festa two. Yep, this is this is the big event of the year. Everyone is fighting all year long to get on this card. And here's the main event. So you have two Greek fighters putting on a show. Ooh, a big, strong middle kick. Yeah, Takeru's got to come back with punches and kicks after each of those. If he's not going to check it with his leg, otherwise Yuki Sada is going to really put some pain, uh, some damage on his arm. You can see there in Yuki Sada's corner, you have some of the local Wheelis Sakurek team. Wong Passer. President of the gym, Ooh, Sensei, who I've done a lot of training with. Great, 
cornerman there for Yoki Sada. Really experienced, they'll give him great advice. They've done well in Muay Thai round and two. All right, round two starting off. Let's see if uh, Yoki Sada turns it up a little bit. Oh, back with that low. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, it's, and it, it looks like it's having a bit of an effect. Yeah. He's not, not liking it. He's not going to show it. But his leg, you can tell his leg's getting a little bit red. Yeah. That milk is great, too. You can't eat too many of those for free. Yep, and he's right back on them. Good strategy, Biff. Don't get him. I'm curious to see how Yoki san is going to move through the rest of this round. Stick with the middle, or is he going to try and move in to knee range? Yeah, he's okay. not even. He's not even checking the kick. Which, mm. Which is losing the points. Yep, well, exactly. He doesn't look to the judges. The middle kick's strong, but he's, he's having trouble getting past that. Inside Ooh, a little sweep action there. Trying to go for the sweep. You can see his Muay Thai roots. Nice knee. He was just trying to work him into a corner against the ropes where he can really let his hands go and not have to worry about you just like getting his escape. Really hard shots from the exchange to you can see the focus and intent in both of their eyes. He's so not throwing any punches. Is, is that uh, something that is common? Uh, well, I think right. for his style, um, he's not, not a big puncher at all. And I'm sure he can throw punches, but he prefers to throw the kicks in the knees. In the K1 ring, it would benefit him to at least be tossing a jab here. He is. Kicking his leg like there's no tomorrow, and that has to hurt him. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. You can tell. You can, you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of uh, He has to put up his guard. He's going to get hit in the head. You don't want that. Mm, there's a big middle kick. Check that one. That was yeah. good. He needs to check those. He needs to return with something. No freebies. No freebies. For no. Tough. <laughs> no, no, you can saw that he's starting to check the kicks, but I think it's too late. And yeah. Takeda is lining him up here in the corner. Two seconds left. You can feel the tension built and building. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Great timing. Great timing on Right on the money. He didn't even expect that. I think, yeah. yeah. think Takeda <laughs> might be surprised with, with, with that punch, too. Yeah. Well, Ooh. I Ooh. think this fight is done. Oh, it's, it's over. It's over. It is. Wow. No. Wow. That is exactly what Takeda wanted. Catch him with the counter as he's moving in. Textbook. Textbook win. K1 style. There's some time. That's exactly what he needed to make happen. And he did it. Wow. Wow. It's amazing because he was focusing on, on his, uh, uh, he, was fo he was focusing on the leg. Yep. Most, mo most of the uh, fight, but it uh, was a punch that. Yep. I got it. That's the, that, that, that's what uh, K1 is kind of uh, really uh, in interesting for is because there is no clinch, so yep. anything can happen. Totally agree. He brings the attention downstairs with the low kick, then sneaks the right hand through the middle as a counter as he's sitting back. Really great hands from Takedo. I, I sure hope Yuki Sada is okay. And always good sportsmanship. A lot there. This is great. Really tough guy too. Man, those middle kicks were. Yeah, I see his leg. You can tell his leg. He's walking off the ring. Yep. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Brought wow. the attention downstairs and slipped the hand as Yuki Sada moved in for that knee range. Well, that lived up to main event status. See what happens here. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. You could have you couldn't plan a better thing. Yep, sharp wow. shot. Really sharp shot. Yep, Takeru is um, so charismatic as well, and he's one of those guys that walks the walk, talks the talk, he delivers in the ring and out of the ring. Wow. Still, as always in K1. Humble, showing respect to his opponent afterwards, going back to his team, feeling good. Takeru is a is is a very exciting fighter, and I I get I get super excited for each each and every one of his matches we have on K1. He is what you would call a main eventer. Yeah, I suppose.
and at 27 years old, hopefully have a, he has a long future ahead of, ahead of himself. Yep, I will, I will be excited for each one of his matchups. <laughs> Congratulating Philip Minotu there. The other champs in the ring. This is the main event, right? This is the main event for Case Festa 2. Yep. End of the evening here. Yep, exactly. Way to finish off the big event of the year. You gotta remember, everyone is fighting all year long to get on this card. This is where they wanna be. This is at the Saitama Super Arena, in the main arena. 16,000 screaming fans. This is where the, the dreams are made. Look at all these guys, look at all the champions in there. What a big night. Great event. And you couldn't have had a better main event. Yeah, it was a solid fight. Um, both fighters brought their all. Mm. Um, and Takeru was the better fighter this time. And, mm. um, had a really solid knockout. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I'm sure leading up to this fight, um, because he is just, he's never, he's not getting easy matchups. Um, when you get a champion from Thailand, from Raja Stadium, everyone knows um, how tough those guys are. Takeru has even had two fights in Thailand as an amateur. Oh, wow. Lost at Lumpini, had another, had a win, a win and a loss. So I think for him, this is a bit of a, uh, you can call it revenge, or wanted to uh, wanted to prove that he can take on uh, the best that the ties can throw at him, and um, he did can it. win. Yeah, and he did it. He did in great style too. KO finish. A lot of really great fighters in that ring right now. Hundreds of hours of training, dieting. <laughs> yep. You know. And uh, it's all, all, all for this amazing evening. Well, that's the thing that the fans, they don't see, is the amount of work that goes into um, putting on an event like this and uh, competing in an event like this. You have to eat, breathe, and sleep this thing, man. And the feeling of performing, uh, not only getting the win, but in an exciting fashion like a KO, yeah. performing strategically just like you want to, there is, there is nothing better. I can only imagine Takeda feels like a million bucks right now. Great job, great job to that young man. So the K-Festa 2 is a annual event for K-1. So yep. these guys have about how many fights a year do you think these guys are, are, are going through to, to get to this event? These K-1, well, and, you know, it's really gonna depend. About five, I'd say yeah, about five to, five to six fights. Staying active. え、でも めちゃめちゃ陰てたんで、え、今日からですかね、格闘技ビームスタートということで、皆さん一緒に格闘技を盛り上げてください。よろしくお願いします。ま、最後にやっぱ
これからもっともっとやっぱ k 1が一番というのを証明するために戦わないといけない相手もいると思うんで、えーまあ、それを実現させることも難しいですけどあの僕はこの格闘技ブームをブームで終わらせるようなあのものにはしないんで。格闘技というジャンルがもう野球とかサッカーとかバスケットボールとかそれと同じぐらいあの一般の人がずっと見続けてオリンピックみたいな始まったらみんながテレビをつけて見るようなみんなが知ってる大会にしたいと思ってるんでこれからもっともっと盛り上げていくんでこれからも一緒に応援よろしくお願いします、えー、今日の大会で k 1が一番ということを証明できたと思うんでみんなで一緒に k 1最高行ってもらってもいいですか今日はたくさんご視聴ありがとうございましたこれからも格闘技界盛り上げていきます K1 最高わぁ、well, just like he said、um, really awesome event again from K1 you know you've got some superstar power when you can have a fight against the Reds of Damnum stadium champion and still have a nice hair yeah. <laughs> and no black guys, I see a lot of black guys and a lot of the other fighters but he came out The champion fight looking pretty good. Clean <laughs> and fresh. <laughs> my, my hair never looks that good. <laughs> and it's disappearing so much. <laughs> so, there you have it. There you have it. Fight of the night. Excellent performance by the champion, Takeru.、Um, and it should be an interesting year for、uh, all these fighters to see what, they, what they're able to do. Yeah, I mean, you look at the talent there in the ring,、um, the gold on the shoulders of the champions.、Um, there's a lot of interesting matchups, and, and K1 has been continuing to bring good fighters from abroad、um, and keep building its level. And,、uh, yeah, I'm super excited to see what the company brings. So, thanks for us to it should be a very exciting match. That's right. Well, and these,、um, these fighters are going to continue to work hard in and out of the room to make it to the next one. Because that's where all the action happens. Good to see the fighters chatting. Changing stories, showing, showing the battle scars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The sense of relief you can see talking in the Tetris forum where you hit those low kicks from the other side of you. If you're not getting your leg up to block those, you know,、um, your arm, you can see the redness there too. Your arm is not going to last very long. But, uh, yeah, you need to see. There's a fight with Take. There's Take, Shina in the back. You know, he's a weight champ. And there with the K1 Wing Girls. Quite an exciting event. Like you said,、uh, and we can look forward to another big K Festa down the line. This year's gonna be great. Well, there you have it. K Festa 2, the Saitama Super Arena's main arena. See you next time. You bet.